session. So thank you very much all for attending. However, we have a very interesting topic, saving the future in coating materials. Uh, so I'm sure it will grasp your attention. Um, first of all, we have a session by Dr. Dr. Andrzej Tchaikovsky is the Global Business Development Lead for Coating for Films at Siegberg, based in Germany. He has... Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for sticking around to this um, last session of the day. Um, I'm representing the company Siegberg, as already said. So for those who don't know us, uh, we are a global supplier of inks and coatings. Uh, more than 200 years of history in the business. And today we supply... Uh, products to almost every segment in the packaging space. Uh, of course, biggest business is flexible packaging, but we also supply products to Narweb, Sheetwet, paper on board, tobacco, liquid food packaging, and we also supply digital printing solutions. And since last year, we started a new business unit uh, that we call Circular Economy Coatings. That's the business unit I'm representing. Um, if you want to learn more about other solutions, then feel free to pop by to our booth. I think it's booth A7, um, and our team can also support you with other topics. Yeah? So I'll start by briefly talking about our thinking behind setting up this business unit, why we see a lot of opportunities in the space, and then I'll jump into uh, uh, some examples of how we are utilizing our deep expertise in inks when creating coatings or even maybe functional inks uh, in order to enable a transition from non-recyclable multi-material structures that were already discussed quite a lot today to recyclable monomaterial uh, films. And then I'll um, deep dive in the topic of oxygen barrier uh, coatings um, as this is one of the most demanded technologies in the flexible plastic packaging space. So the topic of regulation was discussed quite extensively today already, so I'm not going to uh, go deep into this uh, topic, but I just want to highlight again the uh, big uh, regulation that we have uh, being under discussion in Europe, which is the packaging and packaging waste regulation. Lots of things covered. It starts with flexible packaging. I'll move quickly on this because we all know what this is. There are innumerable advantages of multi-layer flexible packaging, usage of less raw material, lower energy consumption, reduced emissions, extended shelf life, lower carbon footprint, and of course, it supports the beautiful modern retail system that we've built. The problem lies in the collection and reuse, not in the packaging. The essence, the core issue, is the absence of effective collection and recycling systems. I think this has been covered today by many of our colleagues here. What we see is lack of infrastructure limits the recovery and reuse of these valuable flexible packaging materials. Innovation in packaging must be matched by innovation in waste management. Focus must shift towards building circular systems, enabling collection, sorting, and recycling at scale. Collaborative efforts are needed across industry, government, and society. I think there's a lot of work going on, and hopefully in the coming years, we're going to see more and more developments on all of this. Where is the industry's focus? I think the industry's focus is on sustainable and renewable polymers. We've seen a lot of discussion about this. Plant-based films, recycled plastic, monomaterials have been covered today. End of life and recycling, EPR, recycling and reuse, composting. For the purpose of my discussion, I'm going to drill down on the role laminating adhesives can play. Here, we can look at net zero factories, carbon neutral factories. We can look at renewable raw materials for the manufacture of adhesive, reduce plastic waste, by having robust adhesives, we can look at uh, adhesive design for recycling. But above and beyond anything, the area that we focus on at Brilliant is solvent-free laminating adhesives. The benefits of these adhesives is innumerable. The environmental benefits start with no VOC, incineration, solvent waste. So therefore, there's much lower carbon footprint. Operational benefits including no drying needed, no risk of solvent retention, lower risk of fire hazard, much faster line speed. My name is Sir Thorsten Schmidt, and I'm the Global R&D Director for Lamination Adhesives of our Bostic Division. And as you can see by my gray hairs and also the points where I spent my career, I'm in this adhesive industry since some time. I was driving actively our innovation in lamination adhesives uh, since uh, quite some time. I would like to um, 
show you, explain a little bit about who we are. Um, so Bostik, if you have not heard the name, uh, you will uh, for sure remember the gecko. Uh, it is one of our, our symbols, you know, which I think uh, makes a lot of sense, you know, because the gecko, the, uh, it's all about adhesion. And here, uh, this animal sticks to a lot of different surfaces and, and substrate as well. Um, so um, this is where we are. Um, Bostik is part of the Akema group. Akema is a uh, huge uh, French multinational company uh, with a headquarter in uh, Paris. And uh, nowadays, we, uh, the Bostik division, which is the uh, adhesive solution segment of Akema, is uh, uh, representing more than one third of the Akema um, sales. And there are, this shows you also really the very uh, um, yeah, the, uh, strong commitment towards the uh, adhesives business. And we're representing here um, the business like construction and consumer, durable goods, um, hygiene, paper and cardboard, and then last but not least, the packaging uh, division. I would like just to um, highlight there is uh, one of the last acquisitions. So in December 2024, um, Akema acquired the um, lamination adhesive division of uh, Dow Chemical. Um, so Where we have the flexible and the rigid parts of the packaging veterans coming on the stage and discussing